The first trailer for Moon Knight is here, and we know who Ethan Hawke is playing. Who? Who? The best geek news. Hello, hello everyone. Excuse my appearance, a little under the weather today, but I had to get off my space couch long enough to talk about the Moon Knight trailer that dropped last night. It's beautiful. If you've been holding out for a show where Oscar Isaac does his best Harry Potter voice, then Moon Knight is the show for you. I like your accent. All joking aside, Moon Knight looks amazing and it hits Disney Plus on March 30th, which is way sooner than any of us expected. I'm excited to start venturing into the darker side of the MCU. One big mystery we've all been wondering is who might Ethan Hawke be playing in the Moon Knight series? According to the closed captioning on the trailer, Ethan Hawke's character is named Arthur Harrow, an obscure character that only ever appeared in one issue, Moon Knight number two back in 1985. However, as you can see, Harrow has cult members quite literally bowing at his feet, seemingly teasing Harrow is doubling as the more popular Moon Knight villain Sun King. Honestly, with that hair, I was hoping he was going to be an entirely different Moon Knight villain. Dracula. Earlier today, it was announced that Microsoft will acquire Activision Blizzard in a deal worth $68.7 billion. God, I don't know who those guys are. Does this mean everything under the Activision umbrella, like Call of Duty, Warcraft, Candy Crush, Diablo, etc., etc., will now be exclusive to Xbox? We don't know. What we do know is that the Xbox Game Pass is about to get hella expensive to pay for this acquisition, but that doesn't really affect me at all because I'm still a PlayStation guy. You have chosen wisely. Today it was announced that Daniel Radcliffe will play Weird Al Yankovic in a biopic for the Roku channel, which I didn't even know it was a thing, but I love Daniel Radcliffe and I love Weird Al, so this is gonna be great. So, uh, you like Weird Al? As promised, slight spoilers ahead for both Scream and the first episodes of Peacemaker, all of which I've now seen. Kinda looks like Peacemaker scared of Ghostface in that picture. Anyway, I'm getting off track. I'm not gonna be revealing who the killers are or anything like that, but just telling you up front, if you don't wanna know anything at all. Yeah! In my humble opinion, Scream was a worthy sequel to the franchise. Now, money-wise, it did great at the box office as it dethroned Spider-Man No Way Home as the top movie with a solid $34 million opening. It's not better than Scream 1 and 2, but it is better than 3 and 4, and there's a certain death in there that got me right in the feels. I didn't cry. As for Peacemaker, I've loved the first three episodes so far. It's just bizarre. You know, it feels like it could exist in the Troma universe instead of the DCEU, but I'm excited to see where it goes. Also, real talk, is there anyone better than James Gunn at crafting weird, lovable animals? From Rocket, to the Weasel, to King Shark, to Sebastian. Hell, the dude even made a talking tree adorable, and now Eagly is just the best thing ever. This is amazing. Dad, grab my phone, I don't wanna move. Hope you enjoyed your show. Follow Chris on Instagram at CK Comedy, and me at Laser Unicorns. And thanks for coming to comicbook.com for the best geek news.